This video here is going to be all about maintenance. We're going to be doing a filter, new fuel line. Uh, we'll finish up the spark plug. Put that in this video actually because we already did some spark plug videos. Um, change the oil. And we'll put fresh oil in the reservoir. So here's the filter. Here's the actual cage. Luckily, this bike had the cage in it, no filter. And the filter just simply goes over this cage. And this one comes pre-lubed. This filter does. If yours does not, then you would want to get some lube, put it on there. There it is. It's all ready to go. It just simply goes right in place. And then our cover screws on over it. So we'll go ahead and screw that in and then we'll move on to the oil tank. All right, we're back. We're going to go ahead and attach the oil tank. It's still got some oil in it, so probably won't be adding any to this just yet. And this hose is stubborn, let me tell you. Okay, we've got that on. There's a little notch here that goes on the inside of the filter housing. We'll fill it connect. And then it's a matter of just slipping it in place. Get all this out of the way. There we go. And then there's a bolt that goes up here. We'll go ahead and put that on, get the drain tube routed, and then uh, we'll move on to the uh, new fuel line. Okay, now we're gonna put some fuel line on. Basically, we're just gonna cut it. It's a quarter inch, it's probably a little big. We're gonna use some wire ties. We're gonna cut it to about there. Don't want a lot of line. Um, I'm not gonna put a filter on, I should, but the way how close this is, when you put a filter on, it's restricting the amount of fuel that's going down there. It's just not working out well. Um, so, didn't have a filter on it from the factory. Uh, it should have one, but it doesn't. So we're just going to run it straight for now. You know, we just might have to clean out the carb or something later on. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And then after we put this on, I'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll move on to an oil change. And that'll do it for this video. Uh, next video, don't know if I'll get to it today, but we're going to attempt, I've never done these forks, attempt to put new, uh, this style of fork rather, uh, new fork seals in there, new oil, and may recondition the outside a little bit, and then uh, fender on, and then we'll take it for a spin if it starts. So well, the last video will be a starting video. Um, actually, we might do a starting video after this one, or we may end this in a starting. I, I don't think so. We'll just do some maintenance. So that's going to do it for now. We'll be back uh, in this video, so stay tuned. It's Sunday, September 30th, and we finally got a DT80 video here going. Uh, we did get the parts in from uh, Rocky Mountain, so we're going to go ahead and change the oil. We'll make this the oil changing video. We're going to drain it. Then we'll go make a video, a separate video of uh, some of the repairs. And then we'll come back and finish this video off with uh, putting the oil back in. So, real quick, um, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's going to be pretty simple. Hopefully you'll be able to see some of it. So we've got a bolt right there. That's the drain plug. It is an 18 millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen that up right now. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll, we'll show it draining in this little bucket. So stay tuned. Okay, we've got the drain plug out. As you can see, hopefully, get you off the stand here. We're just simply letting the oil drain out into our drain pan there. There's the plug, pretty good sized bolt. We'll go ahead and let that drain. And uh, we'll do some repairs. We'll come back to this video and uh, put some oil back in. Stay tuned. Okay, we've got the oil here. Uh, originally, this bike came with a little, a little like dipstick to measure the oil. It didn't attach to this, but it was just a separate thing that came in the tool pouch. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that. It uh, takes 0.58 quarts to fill this up, so I'm going to use the uh, the measuring cup here. So 0.58 ounce or quarts is 18 ounces. So we're going to go ahead and pour that in. Pour in kind of slowly. Okay, 
And then once that's done, um, I'll check for leaks, which hopefully there are none. Probably won't find out until after the first ride. But you can see that's not a lot of oil. That's not a lot of training oil. So go ahead and let that drain in there some more. Um, and that's really it. We're going to finish this video off with this. Uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll do some, some maintenance, uh, a little bit different maintenance. We'll adjust the clutch. We'll put some uh, turn signal lights in and the front fender, that kind of thing. And that will be complete. So if you have any questions or comments, post those below. Uh, please subscribe. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.